Fear not, June 29. Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. Isaiah 43, verse 1. Often our trials are such that they seem almost unbearable, and without help from God, they are indeed unbearable. Unless we rely upon Him, we shall sink under the burden of responsibilities that bring only sadness and grief. But if we make Christ our dependence, we shall not sink under trial. When all seems dark and unexplainable, we are to trust in His love. We must repeat the words that Christ has spoken to our souls. What I do thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. Do not go about as if Jesus were in Joseph's tomb, and a great stone were rolled before the door. In the trial of your faith, show that you know you have a risen Savior, one who is making intercession for you and your loved ones. The Bible places the responsibility of our happiness upon ourselves. We are to look to the light of life. Our usefulness depends on our own course of action. We are so anxious, all of us, for happiness, but many rarely find it because of their faulty methods of seeking in the place of striving. We must strive most earnestly and mingle all our desires with faith. Then happiness steals in upon us, almost unsought. When we can, notwithstanding disagreeable circumstances, rest confidingly in His love and shut ourselves in with Him, resting peacefully in His love, the sense of His presence will inspire a deep, tranquil joy. This experience gains for us a faith that enables us not to fret, not to worry, but to depend upon a power that is infinite. We shall have the power of the highest with us. Jesus stands by our side. As the trials come, the power of God will come with them.